my Jamaican backyard garden, Portmore edition. This is Gardening with Stacy. Come garden with me now, man. What a nice place to live. Sweet jam. This banana tree right here has been going on with itself. It has been doing so well. So beside the banana, I have dragon fruit right here. There's an aloe vera in there. There are some string beans right here. There's an okra plant. And more dragon fruits. Going, going, going up, 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 up. Yep, doing well. Welcome and welcome back to another Gardening with Stacy. Thank you all so much for tuning in. A happy Emancipation Day to my fellow Jamaicans. A warm welcome to you, my new gardening family. Big up to you, my faithful gardening family. A big shout out to you, my channel members. I appreciate you all. So today I'll be just showing you around what is happening in my garden, the changes that I've made. And yeah, come along with me. All right, so I removed the pineapples that were in here. I put some corns inside here. This is my volunteer papaya. My gooseberry right here. Cirrusy. Some dying round red peas around there. Pumpkin. Some peanuts inside here. This is my coconut tree. doing extremely well I planted some sorrel inside here inside these three buckets right here I have cantaloupe this is zucchini and I have cucumber these are my pineapples from crown volunteer papaya tree this papaya tree, which is a male, I'm allowing it to stay. My pomegranate tree, doing very well. Beside that is my mulberry, well, one of my mulberry. And it is growing vigorously. Right here is my sour sap tree. It is doing very well as well. And inside there I have this red or burgundy okra. I just restrained it a little because it's coming out in the walkway. I have my cherry tree right here. doing lovely beside it is my guava tree doing very well as well this is my new mulberry tree remember how it looked the other day guys very yellow and pale it's coming alive these are my ginger that i replanted the other day this is my fever grass or lemongrass. I have my experiments over there. Not looking so good at all. Lemon trees. I have peanuts inside here. Red beans inside here. This sunflower needs to be harvested. See, I have another sunflower right here. So beautiful. And I have some string beans inside here. This is my yam right here, and it is flourishing. This is my lychee tree, my other papaya tree that I am praying will be a female papaya. And I have my nesberry right here. This is my cut start apple. I have my East Indian mango right here. This is my gungu or pigeon peas. And look at this okra plant. My, my, my. It has grown so tall. 
ready to produce now. And I have a few zinnias right here. I just put them in a bundle. Actually, two plants. I have some kalalu right here. Well, this is not feeling right at all. Let's hope it survive. And I have a cucumber right here, recently transplanted. And I planted some more there. I'm getting sprouts from my watermelon, my dying rosemary, leaf of life inside here. Another kalalu right here. I have some red ones there coming up. The red ones that I had before, they perished in the hurricane. All right, so I have right here some cabbage that I mainly just use the leaves. I've had these quite some time. I have kalalu right here. Uh, some more red ones popping up right here. Look at that sugar snap bees pushing out. This is my hot pepper right here. And I have banana pepper, sweet pepper right here. That's a volunteer kalalu. I believe these are some zinnias. See, I have two volunteer tomatoes over there. This is one of the tomato plants I've been trying with that I recently cut right back. This is another one. And this is a scotch bonnet right here. Well, it's more than one scotch bonnet plant inside there. More zinnias, banana and sweet pepper. Tomato right there, eggplant there. This has been in here for quite some time. This is cauliflower. Sweet pepper right here. This is the yellow one. So another sweet pepper over here. My struggling tomato right here. More banana pepper. Zinnias, more zinnias. A tiny parsley deer coming up. This is a sweet pepper or bell pepper. Banana pepper. Oh, it's a cute zinnia right here. I have a cabbage coming up here. I have a few beetroots inside here. These are some scallions. I have another cucumber coming up there. This is another cucumber plant right here. And I have some celery coming up inside here. See another sugar snap peas right there. I had moved my potatoes to here from where they were. I hope for a turn from them. I'm going to add soil to them. This is my June plum tree that I also moved from where it was. My pepper tree as well. Scotch bonnet that I also moved. I had some soil in this container, but they're not looking good. I think they need more sun. So I might plant something else inside there. This is my grapefruit tree. This is my orange tree. This is my tangerine tree. And this is my lemon tree. So these containers are, are empty. I am going to put strawberries inside there. This is my grapevine. I've seen better days with my grapevine, but I'm just still so grateful how it is progressing. I have some scallions or green onions inside here, which Miss Karen told me to pull apart so that I can get more. And I will be doing that. My thyme. <laughs> now go on with nothing. Nothing going on with my thyme. These empty containers, I'm going to put stuff in there soon. This is my Aki tree right here. This is my avocado or pear tree as we call it here in Jamaica. This is my Ote Ite apple. This is my Julie mango tree. I have my sweet potatoes over there. That container over there, I'm going to throw it out and see what happened inside there. And maybe plant back some Irish potatoes inside there. I have my star fruit right here, and this has come a long way. 
doing very well. Inside here I have sweet pepper, hot pepper, my little cayenne pepper that I trimmed back the other day. This is a little sunflower leaning over doing its thing right here. <laughs> this is a hot pepper. No, I think this is a jalapeno. Yeah, this is my jalapeno pepper. It had a few blooms, they fall off. I have another scotch bunny pepper over there. And I believe this is a hot pepper in the middle right there. <laughs> Guys, you remember my pak choy? <laughs> well, I had taken off what was left of it because the leaves, they were filled with leaf miners. And I'm not sure yet, but this may be my my first fail with fruit trees my hot plum let's see what will become of it i have some seeds sown inside here these are some spinach seedlings that sprouted these are some kale seedlings that sprouted of course i'm going to transplant them these are two sugar snap peas this is a spinach right there and I have sweet peppers or bell peppers inside here. And I have, what's it called again? Beetroots. These are turnips that I'm going to transplant. I had some turnips coming up inside here. Something eating them. These are some callaloos that are coming there. Oh no. This is our eggplant. As you can see, it is damaged. So it's no longer. And this is my sugar cane right here. Some flowers around here. And around there. I have pumpkin and corns inside here. So not a lot going on in terms of things to be harvested in my garden currently but i am just loving my space right now and i can't wait for so many things to come to fruition oh my other banana tree right here so i really can't wait to have a host of food again I have been trying to keep up with succession planting. Most of the times my seeds, they don't make it or my seedlings are eaten up and, and things like that. But I plan to be a lot more aggressive where that is concerned. Like, I will just sow seeds till I hear a voice says, sow no more. So I, my intention is to be a lot more aggressive where that is concerned. How is your garden? How are you loving it? Thank you all so much for watching. And until tomorrow, walk good. Come garden with me now, man.